Very good day. Welcome to Warn. World Action and Reaction News. Today news is. DRDO Achievements in 2016. A look back at a year in Indian Defense Technologies, Part 1. The Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO, has had a busy year, and we look back at some of the most innovative technological solutions developed for the armed forces over the course of 2016. Portable Telemedicine System for Armed Forces The Portable Telemedicine System, PDF, for Armed Forces was developed by the Defense Bioengineering and Electromedical Laboratory, DEBEL, Bengaluru in early 2016. The system is a means of providing remote assistance to injured personnel in a field hospital or a ship out at sea. The rugged and portable system is capable of taking various readings including blood pressure, temperature, heart rate, and includes an electrocardiogram. The system can store and transmit anoded data, and can open up a real-time live channel for high-quality video conferencing. The data can be transmitted over various communication channels, and includes the capability to interface with satellites. The Biomedical Data Acquisition System, BioDAS, on board was developed indigenously. An archival software on board the system maintains records in a secure environment. The telemedicine system was successfully demonstrated on board the ships in Stepak, Gomedy, and Tilwar. Devastating New Tank Ammunition Armament Research and Development Establishment, ARDE, and the High Energy Materials Research Laboratory, HEMRL, research wings of the DRDO based in PUN designed new ammunition meant specifically for the Argent tank. The penetration cum blast, PCB, and thermobaric, terabyte, ammunition were successfully test fired in Odessa, demonstrating the devastating power of the ammunition against concrete structures, fortifications and armor plates. The HEMRL lab researchers knew high energy materials to be used in warheads and ammunition. The newly developed ammunition uses atmospheric oxygen for the explosions instead of the oxidizer included in the compound, as is done in conventional explosives. This means that the resulting mixture is far more explosive for the same amount of weight. The test firing successfully managed to destroy a derelict tank that had been fitted with various sensors to measure the shock, blast pressure and temperature of the new ammunition. It was the first time in India that the effectiveness of the new ammunition was measured in such detail. Indian Navy goes green with biodiesel patrolling boats. The Indian Navy has created an energy and environment cell that is tasked with making the Indian Navy an environmentally responsible force. The Indian Navy took the opportunity of World Environment Day to outline some of the initiatives to reduce the carbon footprint of the Indian Navy. During the International Fleet Review held at Visakhapatnam in, the Navy showcased fast interception craft, FAC, in the presidential column that were running on biodiesel. The biodiesel was produced by the Defense Institute of Bioenergy Research, DIBER. The efficiency and performance of the machines and Navy equipment using the biodiesel is not compromised, but there are environmental benefits to using alternative fuels. The FAC running on biodiesel are marked with two green stripes, and are known as the Green Strike Force. Indigenous Sonar Dome the Defense Minister Manohar Parikar flagged off the first indigenous composite sonar dome during the Defexpo 2016. India joined a select group of countries capable of manufacturing such structures. The sonar dome is attached to the bottom of ships, and scans the seas for submarine threats. The requirements of manufacturing such domes are technologically demanding, with a need for a solid and robust structure that is also acoustically transparent. The research and development needed for manufacturing the dome was conducted by a PUN-based DRDO lab known as Research and Development Establishment, INGRES, RDE, E. The dome was manufactured by Conco Limited, a composites manufacturing company based in Pylern, Goa. The vacuum-assisted resin transfer molding, VARTM, process with a process monitoring capability, to ensure that a quality product was manufactured. Successfully manufacturing the sonar dome indigenously means that India now has the capability for manufacturing more advanced structures, such as entire ship hulls. There are land-based and aerospace applications that stand to benefit from the advancement in manufacturing capabilities. Varanastra Torpedo The Defense Minister Manohar Parikar handed over the Varanastra to the Indian Navy at the end of June. 
Varanastra is a ship-launched heavyweight torpedo, also known as an underwater missile. The torpedo was developed by Naval Science and Technological Laboratory, NSTL, in partnership with Bharat Dynamics. The torpedo is manufactured by using 95% of indigenous parts. Thanks for watching. Please like and share. Please comment your opinion for this news. Press subscribe button for auto update to you regarding my channel world action and reaction news, warn.